So since yesterday, I seem to stop the little hop before the jumps here. Had a lot of fun doing this, but looking back at it, I've not jumped quite as high as I'd like to. So I'm still gonna try to work on being able to jump high and still do some sort of acrobatics. The, the, the roll here is meant to help be a transition just to get used to some aerial movement had a lot of good technique improvement here on the handstand the main thing I did was when you put your head out in front of your hands and arms it really focuses on strength where when you get your head in between you can really get the technique down of balancing with the whole body which I really like I've had a lot of fun you know just improving the handstand the big thing that helped me is recording yourself recording yourself is good for technique driven things so anything that has technique, which is almost everything, benefits from recording yourself. Here, I decided to record uh, the slack line for once. I normally do this uh, every day some, or just every day that I can. It's a lot of fun, it's good for balance, and it seems to work the lower legs, like around the knee and below, a good amount. I have a lot of fun doing this. So if you guys like to have fun training, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help out the channel. And today was pretty an easy day. There was um, not a lot. I, I wanted to kind of recover. Tomorrow will probably be another easy day. I have some stuff going on that might make it a little shorter of a video. So this is what a recovery style workout looks like for me. I'm trying to recover the whole body and get a lot of gentle movement a lot of hanging hanging is very important it really hasn't been that click through moment like the squat has done for me but i'm the more i work with hanging the more i kind of feel more and more benefits throughout my body the coordination i think for me i just need to really activate my midsection my lower back with the hanging movement i'm not sure if that's exactly what i need to do but it just feels what i'm trying to do it feels it feels right and that's what i'm trying to do with my hanging practice here so make sure you have a good intention set with each kind of movement with, with pretty much everything you do don't just uh daydream throughout life but have intention with everything you're going to do and what it will lead to your goals so here is a pretty good movement that i found for the front of the shin or the tibialis this movement I like it. It works a little bit of balance, a little bit of the hips, and, and the tibia. It works the hips and tibialis, and some balance, which I like. When you put the weight on your foot, you're really trying to squeeze it. And the shins kind of squeeze that shin and get a nice stretch. Um, I did a lot of jump rope yesterday, and I'll probably do another bit of jump rope in two days. But it, it's, the jump rope is very tough for me. It's very new. So it's beating at my body. My ankles hurt. My Achilles tendon hurts. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a rest before I continue. Again, I do some stretching. I think stretching is important beyond the flexibility, beyond gaining mobility. It's good for just like a meditative practice where you focus on your proprioception or your kinesthetic ability, which are all just big fancy words for your ability to know where your body is and that your ability to move your body parts and know where they are. So this is the pancake stretch, kind of the most basic stretch that you you'd really would do. So just spend a good amount of time in the position, but don't really be passive. Well, you can, well about maybe like half the time, maybe less than half of the time, you want to do some passive stretching where you're not really engaging the body. You're just kind of like literally stretching. When I... A big misconception I think a lot of new people have when it comes to stretching is that you should just be stretching it out like you're stretching out a plastic bag or something. You want to be active. You want to, you know, tense the muscles and move yourself into the positions, into it's like into the fullest range of motion, and then build more motion that you in ranges that you did not have have before. So, just get some stretching in. And understand that there's two types of stretching, passive and active, where you're actively moving your body throughout the range of motion and where you're passively just letting other forces stretch you out. 
So that's why I like to think that stretching isn't exactly stretching per se, but just a meditative practice where you work on your proprioception. So this is a pretty easy day. I didn't do anything too intense. This is just recovery. Tomorrow will also be kind of a recovery day. Because I do have some stuff that I need to be athletic for. And that's what I am planning on doing. So let me know what kind of goals you guys are doing. How you guys' training is going. If you guys like think I'm missing any part. Any kind of training I should add in. I'd love to hear it. Um, I know a lot of you guys are trying to stay consistent. So if you're seeing this video, get out there, do your training, whatever you can. It doesn't have to be much. Just, you know, get down on the, try to touch the ground, you know, work on your squat, work on your fluidity, work on your balance, work on your strength or endurance. So whatever it takes, do it. Here's a very good shoulder stretch I like to incorporate. I've kind of reached a bit of a plateau when it comes to the shoulders here. So hopefully I'll be able to bust through it and get a little bit tighter. Ideally, I wouldn't even need to be able to do a towel. I'd just be able to hold my hands together. But I'm working towards that still. This is a good one to do after you take a shower. I have a tutorial and a lot of shoulder stretches. So you can look at the tutorial section on the playlist, tutorial playlist. It's very... It's quite painful. I, I get a big uh, blood pumping through the arms and stuff. I need to rest occasionally. But I do think this is a really good stretch. It really works the range of motion that your shoulders are meant to do. Your shoulders are meant to be able to move in 360 degrees and always pain-free. But there's a little bit of tightness in most people's chest and most people's arms that kind of prevent a very big fluid motion here so remember understand your goals refine them do your stretching do a little bit of training right now and i'll see you next time farewell for now